Hey Dev, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn about how to set breakpoints in the Chrome DevTools. For this video, I'm going to be using Chrome version 85. Let's jump in. To illustrate this, I'm going to be using this simple counter I created. If you want to follow along, the link will be in the description. A breakpoint is an intentional pausing place in the program. When the JavaScript engine running in the browser hits a breakpoint, it will stop everything and give you a window into your code at that point. In Chrome, you can set breakpoints in the Sources tab of the DevTools. I'll open the DevTools with Control shift or Command option i then click on the Sources tab up here. Once that is up, you can open a file with the shortcut Control or Command p I know that all the JavaScript for this page is in counter.js, so I'm going to start typing, and then click on the file. Now we can see all the code for this counter. To set a breakpoint, you can either click on the line number that you want to pause before, or right click and select add breakpoint. I'm going to go to this update counter function and set a breakpoint on line 11. This red dot indicates that a breakpoint has been set. When I go back to the counter and hit the increment button, we hit that breakpoint and the code execution stops. To continue, you can hit play at the top of the window or here in the debugger. To remove that breakpoint, you can either click the dot or right click, remove breakpoint. The second type of breakpoint that we're going to add is a conditional. This will break when the code you provide evaluates to true or truthy. Let's take a look at the increment button's click event listener down here. Let's say I want to break only when the next value is greater than five. So on line 21, I can set a conditional breakpoint by right clicking and selecting add conditional breakpoint. When I do that, this little prompt opens. Here, I'll type my condition, next is greater than five, and I can reference the variable from my code. Once I'm done, I hit return or enter. Now we have this half red dot that indicates that a conditional breakpoint has been set. When I go back to the counter and go up, nothing happens because the condition hasn't been met. But when I hit a value greater than five, the breakpoint is hit. To continue, once again, hit play at the top of the window or in the debugger. To remove that breakpoint, you can click the dot or right click, remove breakpoint. The third type of breakpoint that we're going to add is a log point. This won't pause the execution of your code, so it's not really a breakpoint, but it will log a value when the engine gets to that line. This is the easiest way to log something in your code, much faster than editing the source, saving, and waiting to refresh the page. Back up at the top, I'm going to go to the get count value function, and I want to add a log on line 7. To do that, I will right click and select add log point. Here I can type my log value. Think of this as the arguments that you would pass to a console log. When I'm done, I can hit enter or return. This red dot with the white chevron lets us know that a log point has been set on this line. If I go over to the console and change the counter, I can see that log coming from a VM in the browser right here. Back in counter.js, I can remove that breakpoint by clicking on the icon, right-clicking remove breakpoint, or I can go down here to the debugger pane and remove the breakpoint here, and it's gone. In this video, we learned how to set and remove breakpoints, conditional breakpoints, and log points in the Chrome DevTools. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.